Dressing down. There won't be anyone around at this time. I know, but I can't. Roger, will you switch the blasted thing off? Disturbed anyone though? Only us. Mm. Oh, you're freezing! Come on, Bobby. Oh. We don't want to be late for mass. Damon, it's half past seven. Yeah. In bed, the state you end up in every morning. What time was it? Half past seven. So I thought it be. So you better get that drunk if you're coming to communion. Hello? You're up early? I couldn't really sleep. You know, the whole show's a bit basic, isn't it? Would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, yes, please, old son. What about Mummy? I'll let her sleep for a while. She's worked very hard organising all this. Dad, how long are we likely to stay here? Oh, until I get fixed up? Not too long. Right, I'm off then. I wonder what the smell was. Shut up, you. Hey, Ma, you shouldn't be doing that there, you know. It's unhygienic. Mm. You're not too big to feel the back of me, are you, my lad? I wouldn't do that to me, Ma. You haven't got it, in you? Oh. Don't you be so sure. I'm gonna have to get off now. I've got to go and drag our midfield dynamo out of bed. Who are you playing today? Dog and gun from Kirby. Take your prisoners, then, you know. You do yourself more good getting yourself down to mass every now and then. That's all right, Matt. You know how soon I am. I'll get in on your ticket. Oh, may God forgive you. See you later. Yeah. What are you doing? Getting a drink. How are you? I may have given up on the queer fellow there, but you're going to communion. Now put it back. And don't see if that lazy madam's up yet. around here, you know. <laughs> Where's Gordon? Uh-huh. How's it doing? Nearly finished. <laughs> Try it now, love. <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. OK, again. No, no, leave it, leave it, leave it. What's wrong with it? That's what I'm trying to find out, isn't well, it? Well, how long is it going to take? I don't know. Turn that over again, Damon. <laughs> leave it, leave it. We're going to be late, you know. I don't want to be seen following the collection plate down the aisle. <laughs> leave right, it! that's it. We're walking. Damon, go and get Karen. Damon! Never breaks down when you go into the match, does it? Problems? Oh, we're gonna be late for mass. <laughs> 
Oh, dear. Oh, Karen, where are you now, for God's sake? Oh, can I do anything to help? Not really. Not unless you want to give us a push. Well, I'm not pushing it. Oh, we could give you a lift. Oh, no, it's all right, really. We can easily walk. Well, it's no trouble. And it would make up for yesterday a little bit. And Paul was just going for the newspaper anyway. Well, if you're sure it's no trouble. No trouble at all. I'll tell Paul. Thank you. You better go and get yourself cleaned up. Oh, please give them a lift, Paul. Probably end up having the seat slashed. It was the least I could do after yesterday. Well, what about this? Well, Gordon can keep it going, can't you, Gordon? I suppose so. Oh, come on, Paul. Well, you were going out for the Times anyway. And they are going to be our neighbours. Keep it going, old son. Won't be long. Ooh, too cold out here for me. I spy with my little eye. You're giving the ones across the way a lift by the look of things. Really? Their own car won't start. That's why I placed to have a new one, you see. Stop spying. Here we are, friends. Us people are in and out of each other's pockets all the time. That's all we need. What are you talking about? They've got a fire or something going in next door. At this time of the morning. Probably be building a hen hodge by this afternoon. <laughs> you do talk a load of absolute drivel at times. Come back to bed. They are giving him a lift. Does it matter? Of course it matters. It matters what sort of people we get living here. Oh, I know. And what'll that do to property values? <laughs> oh, come on. Go back to bed for a bit. What for? I thought we might discuss our life insurance premiums. Where is she? I'll get her. Close. Come on, girl. You're going to church, you know, not a fashion parade. Ready? I told you, didn't I? They are giving him a lift. Hallelujah. I'm hungry now. You can make breakfast while I have a bath. Oh, my friend, I have a Thanks ever so much. All oh, the paper shops are second on the left. All right. Bye. It's all right, really, isn't it? I'm going with you, Paul. State of her, I feel ashamed. I do, really. I think I'll go and find some of my mates. You won't. You'll stay here where I can keep an eye on you. Food myself. Oh, really? 
didn't say I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> now, what's on the agenda today? Sounds like an exciting time ahead. We could burn some more boxes and newspapers, I suppose, eh? Had a chance to look at the times yet? I'll settle down with it later. While these two wash the dishes. I don't know why you bother, actually. I mean, there are hundreds of people applying for those jobs. And someone's got to get them. Yeah, I know, but you're a bit... Well, you know. How about a walk later? Anyone game? Where would we walk to? Oh, I don't know. Mooch around our new environment. Look for Lucy's school. That's the last place I want to look for. Good morning, ladies. Hello. Everything well? That's good. Matt? And Bobby? Hello, Father, Mrs. Grant. I wonder if I could have a word with you. Uh, yes, certainly. He's all right. For a priest, I mean. Oh, good way, will you? As long as he wears trousers, you fancy him. I wouldn't mind him. Eh? Got some air. Ah. You think he'd have the central heating on, Bobby? The amount of money he's taken over that club bar. I mean, half an hour in that place, and I felt like coming out and murdering someone, so I'd end up in hell getting a wall. <laughs> Incredible. I wonder myself where the money goes, because we don't get any benefit from it. I tell you what, Bobby, wouldn't put the central heating off in the Vatican. Hi, hi. Look at these two. They're in a state of grace. <laughs> yeah, grace before meals. <laughs> hey, still your dad on you. No, my dad, I've got to look out for to me, Mum. Haven't we all? Are they in there now? No, they're coming to 11, so my dad can get straight to the club after. Well, he's not a bad judge. Not a bad judge. Oh, I was my mother. I'm sorry. She's in there making arrangements for the bloody house blessed. I thought we were going to get away with that sign picture of the poop. Is she not out yet, Dad? No, lad, she's not. Anyway, listen, you better make your own way home. We're going to stop off and see Mr and Mrs Duffy on our way back. Walk it. Yes, walk it. Unless you've suddenly learned how to bloody fly. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> you coming? Ta-da, Damon. Ta-da, <laughs> <Ta -da>, girls. <laughs> the cases. Is she, uh, is she really having the house blessed? Right so. <laughs> It'd suit you better to have your motor looked at from the sound of it. Mm. Anyway, how is it living amongst the land of gentry, Guy? Has it, uh, the cracks appeared in yet, Hardy? No, to be honest, Matty, I think it's better than pouring money into the council's pocket every week. Much cheaper. Yeah, but that's only because the likes of me are paying for the likes of you through these bloody exorbitant rates. Oh, God, but you got the gift of the gab to go with it now. Well, haven't you heard about that new estate? Go ahead. When you move in, a fellow from the builders comes round with a little pamphlet. Yeah. It's called All You Need To Know About Being A Tory House Owner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Lesson one, have the front half of your brain removed. If... You're a member of the aristocracy or an hereditary life peer. This will have been performed at birth and no further treatment will be necessary. <laughs> <laughs> You've got one of them on the estate already. Yeah. He's, he was there about five minutes he was having a go at our demon. Well, what's so unusual about that? Oh, come on. Listen, Bob, you've raised a little hooligan there. No, oh, he's not a bad lad at all, Damon. Oh, so, uh, you're not getting on with your new neighbours already, eh? The women get on, and that's the main thing. They're sure. there all day, aren't they? Sure. Hi, Matty. Hi. Hello, she. You'd think I was asking him to walk on water himself instead of coming out to bless the house. He probably couldn't get a visa. It's still in the parish, isn't it? I don't know why you bothered in the first place going to say about getting the bloody house blessed. We never had the old house blessed, did we? Well, that was the council's. If they want to bless it, it's up to them. Listen, I remember there was a time you couldn't keep them away from your front door. You'd no sooner sat down to get your tea, usually, and knock, knock, a little altar boy would be there. The priest's yeah. coming. Yeah. Remember? My mum used to run around stuffing newspapers under the seat cushions. <laughs> yeah, mind you, that was the only time your house got cleaned. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, yeah. <laughs> anyway, listen, it's not a priest you want out there, you know. It's a missionary. Behave mm -hmm. yourself. Stupid, if you ask me. If you don't put the boards up, the windows go through, don't they? Oh, Bess went down the aisles and about yesterday and our Tommy's been on the list for yonks. Never guess what the fella said. Piss off, probably. He didn't even know it was empty. Plus, the old thing made sure my mother paid the rent up before they left. ta -da. See ya. Wish we still lived here. Christ, I don't. I bloody hate the place. All right, Francie. 
You don't live here anymore. Seb? So? You don't like people trespassing? Well, I hadn't heard anything about you taking over the council. Uh, not in a hurry, are you? Fuck in, Jacko. Why, what are you gonna do? Nothing. But if anything happens to me, I'll Barry will want to know who's done it. I'm not interested in your Barry. All right, Jacko. We're only messing, Karen. You know, no arms on, eh? Still want to live here? I can look after myself. Why should you have to? We're going to have to walk this every week. What do you think, soft lad? I know what my belly thinks. My throat's being cut. I hate having to go to communion. I hate having to go to mass. It's right, though, isn't it? I mean, you know, if he's all over the show, like, why do you have to go to church for Sunday to say your prayers? Why can't you just say them in bed? They couldn't pass the plate round then, could they? <laughs> they have outdoor envelopes, don't they? You know, it was fair enough when he had to do in the catacombs. But that was like a secret meeting. He could do it on telly now. How come our Barry got out again? How does he get out of anything? He's right, though, isn't he? I mean, it's dead stupid having to do something you don't believe in. Yeah, but you try telling me mum that. Do you think I won't? I will. When? After. Well, if you do, I'll talk to Dad first. At least he listens. And then he goes and does what my mother says. No, he doesn't. He does about going to mass and things like that, he does. I don't reckon he'd go either, given half the chance. Don't you? No. He only does it to keep the peace. Straight up, like, is that what you reckon? Well, I never. I might go along with it then, mightn't he? It's worth a crack, though, Cass. Don't call me that! Why don't you ask him? Why don't you? I will if you will. All right, then, we'll do it this morning. This morning? Yeah, why not? No. Mm. Better get him in a good mood, though, first. What are you gawping at? Get as bad as that. Well, they could if they reject our faith, Liam, yeah? And what's worrying me is they've been wanting to shut the bloody factory down for years. Yeah, but I thought that was all part of the usual bluff. I know what people do, and that's part of the trouble. Anyway, we'll know on Thursday. Mm. It's no use speculating now, is it? <laughs> Who knows, with a bit of lofty me, you give it a bloody increase. And there it is, eh? And to think Matty called me a traitor to the working class for wanting to move, eh? He would. What he means is he can't afford to do it himself. Yeah, but he could if he wanted to, Sheila. Yeah, that's just the trouble, isn't it? It's too easy living here. We only come here for two years, you remember? So we could afford a place of our own and then have the kids. And then have the kids, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, we did have some good times, didn't we? Oh, give over. <laughs> Phew, we've only been out of the place a month and you're getting nostalgic already. You were as glad to see the back of this place as I was, <laughs> as I am now. Come on, let's go and get something to eat. <laughs> Tickling you? I think we've just passed muster next door. Any good jobs in the paper? A couple that sound interesting. You know, I'm beginning to write these things automatically now. Good job I had the foresight to run off a few copies of my curriculum vitae. I'm going to need some new stationery soon, though. You couldn't have used 500 sheets already, surely? Here is damn it. Soon gets gobbled up, old girl. Apart from which, there's the new address. But that's 60 or 70 pounds in postage alone. Ah, don't I know it. I wonder if job application expenses are tax deductible. <laughs> Should be in this day and age. Do you think something will turn up? Oh, yes. It's only been eight weeks. 
Plenty of time before the bailiffs arrive. Put the flags out. Hey, what have you been up to? Nothing, honest. You ought to listen. Hello, oh, nice one. It's probably just damp. Oh, well. These pings, as they say. Are you ready for your breakfast? Uh, yeah. Uh, Karen's doing it. Oh, this I must see. She doesn't even know how to put the stove on. You have definitely been up to something. We haven't! Oh! Oh, dear God, girl! Oh, I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> Sorry's not gonna bring this lot back from the dead, is oh, it? Oh, I was doing my best! Oh, bless it! Oh. <laughs> Get a cloth. <laughs> I don't know, Cam. I'd have been ashamed at your age if I can stop. Oh, I didn't do it on purpose, you know. Flipping it. Oh, you knackered. All right, all right. Sorry. We know she's had an accident. Well, she will be one if they're more buried to them, won't she? Oh, I don't expect them to. Well, why should I be expected to cook us just because I'm a woman? Oh, come on, love. I think you've got a few years to go. We had to both die like Oh, you know what I mean. Equal rights just doesn't mean we're equal to men. I mean, we can be equally stupid at times, and all. Oh, you... Sheila, leave her alone, will you, Queen? Look, she's trying to do a good turn. Leave her alone. Damon, go and bring Karen back, will you? Come on, you're all right. She just gets me down. I know, but she's a good kid, isn't she, love? She was trying to do you the good turn, and that's in the right place. I can't afford to go wasting food like this. <laughs> no, we can't, love, but it's over now. It's done. Just forget about it. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Listen, the breakfast has gone for the Burton babe, hasn't it? Damon's fixed the car for me. Come on, I'll take it all down to the swamp for a bit of lunch. Yes. Are you coming? Come on, Sheila, come on. Sorry, right, go on. Oh, no. I thought I might as well perform the ceremony while it was still fresh in my mind. Fine, Father. Come in. Hello, Bobby. All right. Uh, you wouldn't have the kettle on by any chance, would you? Yes, Father. Come in. Good grief, she gives him the cup of tea. We'll never get rid of him. Hey, you asking Dad about going to Mass today? What do you think? 